song's called The Ballad of Fred and Wilma, and it goes like this. One, two, three, four. This is pretty cool. Any parade yet? No parade, all right. I guess we got in trouble for making fun of them one day, so we can't play now during when the parade goes by. But don't worry about it. We'll not go by because there'll be horses, and then there'll be a marching band, and then the fellow ambulance, and then some miniature horses, and then a clown, and then a street sweeper, and that'll what it is. I think when they came through, they were starting with Star Spangled Banner, but by the time they passed the tent, they were doing going blind. So, but, uh, <laughs> we're a very influential band. Yeah. Didn't fare well with our conductor. <laughs> ah, well, you guys are an attractive-looking audience. How you doing out there? You, you drink a lot of beer? <laughs> all right, this is fabulous. This is all right. Yeah. Fish fry. We just did fish fry. We did the fish fry. How about a good old rock and roll song? <laughs> A one, two, three, it was 1988 and about midnight. My dress was rented and her dress was tight. But then we looked like a couple of schmoes driving home from the prom in my door. No, last car in the world that I would choose. Well, 
we parked underneath the bell. The sky, her hands started moving up my thigh. So I leaned over to give her a kiss. She broke my ribs on the damn snake ship. What's that? He wants toys right now. No, no, what time is it, man? It's like 10 after 6. We got lots of time, man. Lots of time! Alright, fair enough. A little contest we have called Dueling 7-Elevens. Ryan sings a 7-Eleven song and then I do, and then you gotta vote who does the, the best one.
just know of that wonderful song, The Ballad of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Uh, sir, by applause. By applause, sir. Raising their hand again. Okay. <laughs> How many, by applause, think it's too damn long? Very good. Just kidding, buddy. He's like, you son of a bitch. So we got the Reader's Digest abridged condensed version of the Ballad of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Thank you. And it goes like this. One, two, three, two, two, three. The officers were tempted to turn around and look over at Lainey's, but no, 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 not at all. Here's a little song. <laughs> oh, little Christmas song. It has a comment about fame. Hey, you guys aren't supposed to start until quarter till seven. Yeah. Okay, guys, do me a favor, will you? On the count of three, everybody turn around and say, Hi, Spangle Makers. Okay, ready? On the count of three, real loud. One, two, three. Hi, Spangle Makers! They look completely unimpressed, don't they? What? This song's called Something Something, and it goes like this. Yeah, just, uh, I got a little louder, because they got... Uh, uh, oh, you okay? All right. Can y'all hear me okay? All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
is. This song is the first song of ours that he played on the Dr. Demento show. It's a wonderful little ditty. It's kind of a, kind of a, an island thing going for you. And it goes like this. One, two, three, four. Codes have been neglected since the health inspector was infected. And if you get a staff infection, you can add it to our staff's collection. Disease runs rapid now and can I say? People die here every day. Our drinking fountain doubles as of the day. some open seats up here. We have, they have a couple seats right here. Oh, sure. You just don't mean to sweat on you. Is that how that works? How about the Lake Billy? No, but how about this one? Any Jimmy B 
Super duper. Here we go. We got one that goes like this. offended anybody who was just augmented recently, have we? No? These are real. They sure are. Proud to say. These are not. Yogi, I never knew. Oh, about time. You don't need to see this. Hey, thanks a lot for staying, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good day at the fair. Later on. Uh-oh. Somebody wearing yellow. <laughs> he just told us he loved us, man. That's good to hear. Thank you, sir. We love you too, man. We love you, man. Well, then we'll close it with that. We'll bring that one out. official bootleg doing there. Hey, let's do a sing-along song. Anybody willing to... Okay, guys, let me tell you something. This is the last Houston Boys show for a very long time. Okay? Is there anybody in the audience willing to get naked? Okay, besides John, or Homer, and Homer. <laughs> Was it Lee? Hey, uh, Jenny, where are you, babe? The female variety. Where's Jenny? Can bring her out here. We are pretty straight. Yogi's been trying all week. Jenny, we, we gotta, gotta get you naked Somebody during this next naked song, hon. Huh? You gotta get naked. Come on, take off that apron right now. Just a little bit. Here we go. It's a song that goes like this.
understands. <laughs> so you think. Everybody start clapping. You, you can get those Ginsu knives over by the uh, Miracle Mop. left in our, in our show today. Fifteen minutes. I'm sorry, if I get a little misty, folks, you know, what, what, what can you do? But you guys have been a great audience. You've been, you've been fabulous. And yes, you have. And by request, folks, probably one of my most famous songs that we've written over the many years. No yawning at the Future Boys concert. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely little song. Hey folks, we do have three cheers up here available for the next, for the last two songs. If no chippings in the maitre d' necessary either. You can just come on out. Write it up here. It's a little bitty song called Toys in the Box. Thank you. 
And it goes like this. I'm out of here. 
Did she miss it? Oh, man. Get a mask on. Yeah, you have to buy a piece of wood and two leg videotape. There you go. Hey, you guys, you guys want to piss off the spangle makers? Hey, they're just doing their job, so we shouldn't get down on them. Wow! 